Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So far in Ho-Chunk ethnic history class, I have learned about how the Ho-Chunks used to garden their crops by using raised beds made from soil, why they used effigy mounds, and what the mounds stood for. Okay. Hey Tigers, good morning, I'm Alec. <laughs> and I'm Kyla, today is Tuesday, November 18th. We've got information about investment club, tutoring, a food drive, and more coming up on GM97. November 17th through 21st marks American Education Week, a week to celebrate public education. Take some time this week to thank a staff member. They work hard day after day to teach and inspire you to be the very best you can be. Show them a little gratitude. You might want to show a little extra gratitude to the people staffing the LMC after school. If you need a quiet place with internet access to work on schoolwork or are getting behind with your assignments, every Tuesday and Thursday the LMC here is open until 4.30. You can work on your own with a friend or with the help of a teacher. Stop down and give it a try today after school. You can stay up as long as you want up to 4.30 and can come either Tuesday or Thursday or both. Check it out and boost your grades. You can boost some Christmas spirit by donating non-perishable food items for the Project Christmas Food Drive. From now through December 8th, you can help those in need this holiday season with your donation. Donation boxes can be found in the library next to Mr. Lead Home and Mrs. Gavin's offices. NHS members, you've got some volunteer activities to think about. Go to the NHS meeting on Thursday during focus in room 117. You'll discuss opportunities for volunteering and other activities. We've got another meeting announcement. The Tiger Investment Club will be meeting this week on Thursday during focus. For this week's meeting, you'll be joined by Todd Anderson from Anderson Financial. He'll be speaking about current market trends and answering your questions. Please plan to attend. And FFA members, you're winding up the cheese and sausage sale. Pick up your cheese and sausage orders today after school in the high school ag room. Mr. Markhart will be in the ag room until 5.15. Remember to get your orders delivered right away. Finally, we've got some fundraising success to celebrate. Thank you to everybody that sold Butterbreads for the sophomore class. Our high sellers were Hunter Hurst who sold 28, Alicia Qual who sold 18, and Alexis Bush who sold 17. Thank you to all 22 students who sold. You helped raise over $1,000 which will help make the prom of 2016 that much better. That, awesome job! That reminds me of another fundraiser. The junior class car wash. Megan Engelbretson put a ton of time and energy into getting our class fundraising going and because of her we've been very successful. Megan's, go Megan's going to be out of school for a while. She's recuperating from surgery. My Long worked with Megan on some video that they'll be collaborating for the student reporting labs. Here's the first video in a bigger series. Find out more about what Megan has been facing for some time now. My name is Megan Engelbretson. I have a spondylolisthesis of my fifth lumbar vertebrae, and so pretty much I have a little diagram I made up. This is my pelvis. This is my uh, vertebrae on top of it. This is the f my face and, you know, my butt. So here is my first vertebrae on top. It slipped off the front here. And and basically what the surgery is going to do, it's, it's going to bring it back here and hold it in place and secure it there forever. The recovery time that they gave me is about a two to three month timeline. One for their regular patients would be about a 40 or 50 year old person. That's a three to four month timeline, but since they're hoping that, they're hoping that I can recover in a much faster time since I am young. For the first three to five days, I will remain in the hospital in Marshfield and then I will come home and be on bed rest for a while. I will be allowed to walk and stand and sit immediately after surgery, but just for very short periods of time because they're putting, they're putting a piece of bone between my bones and they want that to like heal and become one bone and they don't want me moving a lot to disrupt that. By two, two and a half months, I will be able to return to school for half days and then after that, by three months, I'm hoping to be back full time, so by second semester. I first noticed when 
uh, that I had problems with my back when I was in seventh grade after a hockey tournament that I do every year in Viroqua called Thunderfest. Um, I was playing goalie at the time and after a game I told my mom, hey mom, my, my leg hurts. And she thought, oh, you just pulled a muscle and so I wasn't worrying about it. And months went by and I realized that it wasn't getting any better. And so we went to the doctor and they said it wasn't a muscle injury. And so they ended up taking um, x-rays and an MRI of my back and they found out that I had the shift in my spine. And at that time I was only a stage two and right now I'm at a stage four, which is between a 75 and 100 degree shift. It's really hard in the morning because I get all stiff and it's really hard to like bend down and put my socks on. The pain that I receive from this, it moves across from my spine, it moves across to the outside of my leg and then all the way down the back of my right leg. And it's just a constant pain in my hamstring area from my hip to my knee. My original surgery was scheduled for October 27th, but today is October 29th. And as you can see, I have not had surgery yet. Um, that is because last week I got sick and they do not operate on sick people. My surgery has been rescheduled for November 17th, which is three weeks later than my original plan. We're already missing Megan in the studio. Let's give Megan some support with a tiger clap on three. On three? Are you all ready? On three. Okay. One, two, two three. That's, That's about it, freshmen. Make sure you're paying close attention during QPR training today. We're all counting on you. Have a great day, Tigers. See you later.